What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to split test your ClickFunnels funnels and variations using Click Magic, right? Because we're using Click Magic to track everything and we're using ClickFunnels to build our pages. Now, there is one little problem that happens in ClickFunnels when you use your own custom domain. Uh, that really doesn't allow you to split test. So I wanted to show you what it is and then a walk around around this issue. Uh, I did already submit this issue kind of for review and they said they'll get back to me. So they're working, they're fixing on it right now. Uh, it's been a week or two right now. So if you're still experiencing this issue and you really want to track um, your funnels and your landing pages or your, your pages uh, using Click Magic, I will show you how to do that, okay? So so let me just show you um, what the problem is so that to see if you have the same thing. So as you can see here, right, the path for this variation is home page one. The path for this variation is home page two. Now it doesn't really matter what I put. I could put in home page 30. I can put in, you know, landing page one here. It's not gonna matter. Here's what's going to happen. So as I put this URL here, and I make it home page one, right? So remember, for click magic split testing, we need two different URLs, right? Which means we will need these URLs. I'll need this one and this one. I can't use this URL because that's not gonna do anything. It's going to split test within ClickFunnels, but I need to see the results in Click Magic, right? To see which one's best, which one's converting better. So as I put in home page one, notice. The home page one is the one with a survey. Home page two is the one with a dollar bill, right? See, see, so so far so good, okay? But let me just show you that it's really random, okay? Now if I click on home page two again, there, okay? So took a while, but uh, th 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 there is this random probability. So this is home page two, right? This is supposed to be home page two. Uh, took, took me a while because of the bad uh, kind of random drop, but it may happen, okay? Uh, usually much faster than, than what it just took that your page will, will be incorrectly shown. So this is supposed to be home page two, right? Right there. Um, so if I if I say it again, home page one, notice that's not home page one. This is supposed to be home page two, right? If you go here, this is home page two. So that's the URL I need, but it says home page one. So you can imagine that the, the chaos that would have happened if I were to put this into click magic, I would have gotten completely incorrect data. So you know, if I if I make this two now, now it shows correctly, right? Hey, so so it kind of it, it, it's 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 random. Sometimes it shows, sometimes not. Let's see if you know home page two will show a different one. Okay, so let's try this one. Yeah, so now it's not even changing at all. All right, oh, there you go. So now it changed to this one. Oh, now it changed back to that. Okay, so as you can see, it's totally random. Um, it, sometimes it goes to whichever page uh, for some reason. I don't know why it's not supposed to because the path we put here is this for that one and the path we put here for this is that one, okay? So, um, a temporary walk around around this issue now what you can do is you would just copy the steps so what you can do is let's let's clone this funnel step completely all right and we're gonna opt in and we're going to add this to funnel so now we're gonna have a different one okay and let's just rename this real quick so I'll just go to settings uh, let's go to publishing let's name this opt-in too right so we know which one's which Okay, so now what we can do is instead of using these individual paths, we're going to actually provide this URL inside of our click magic uh, split testing feature. Okay, so for example, here, if I go to split testing, right, notice we do need the two URLs, right? But as you just saw, the URLs vary, they're very inconsistent, okay? So what we can do for the first one is let's just, you know, let's, let's declare this one as the winner. And for the second one, we're going to declare this one as the winner. Okay, and now all we have to do is we, we can give these URLs out. Okay, so this URL is called home page and this one we can make. That way it's going to force us to go through those, right? Now this one we can make home page two or home page one, right? Whatever you want to. Uh, let's see, home page two, it's already taken here. Sometimes it gives this little extra. Let's see, okay. Let's try something else. Let's do home page, uh, home page 23. Okay, so you get the idea. So, 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 so make it whatever you want to, right? So you have home page 23 here and you have home page. So now notice 
Now I can add those into my split testing. So that's home page, right? And that's going to take me to this one, which is this uh, this this home page two. Okay, yeah. That, that's why I didn't let us do home page two because there was a home page two here already. But notice that's the one with the dollar bill, right? Now if I type in home page two three, it's going to take me to this page, right? And it says opt-in. But the point is now we can reliably do this split testing because now no matter how many times I click this, it will not change. Right. Or if I do, what did we say? Home page, right? It takes us to home page, which is the URL of this one. Okay. So that's what you would do now. Click magic. Now you would put in, right? So whatever your primary URL would be. So that would be, you know, the first URL. And then you would put in the second one. If, if you want to know how to, how to do this, this, this split testing, check out my video in my playlist. I'll put the link up above, but this is a walk around, around you being able to kind of create this variation while there is a temporary click funnels problem, something they're working with. Okay. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if you're, you know, tracking your conversions uh, from your ClickFunnels funnels using Click Magic, which is what I'm doing, and you encountered this issue, uh, here's kind of a temporary uh, way to resolve it. So that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, we cover a lot of different online marketing tools here, reviews, how-tos, tips, tricks, strategies. Uh, and again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.